YouTube Nation, it's Matt Cannon Course, and welcome to a special edition video of me breaking down the college student life from the life of a freshman, okay? I'm a freshman, I'm 18 years old here at BGSU University, um, Northwest Ohio, just around Cedar Point area, south of Michigan, little bit mental uh, screenshot right there. So again, I'm not an expert, okay? I don't have a PhD in college life. But I will tell you one thing, I love helping other people out and I love breaking down things, hence that's why I'm a YouTuber. So literally I feel like this is the first completed week of my college career. So literally why not make a YouTube video telling you the truths, the myths, the busts, um, truths, lies, anything about college life. I'm bringing down as six categories in this video any other comments you have, complaints, questions, concerns, comment below, I'll get back to you in a different video and I'll address that question in that video or I'll just respond to the comment if it's very quick and precise. So again, I'm Matt Kennedy. Um, I am majoring in AYA education, adolescent to young adult uh, math education. Um, I do not have a minor right now. However, I may minor in intervention, intervention specialist minor, which is like special education or um, ex, they call it like students with exception abilities. So just kids that aren't really the brightest kids on paper and they need extra attention in school by having that minor hopefully will help me get a job in the uh, real world. So. Um, hopefully I want to pursue a PhD in education to be a professor, but that's way down the road. Okay. So the six categories we have S cubed sounds weird, but we'll, we'll go over it. How to stay involved on campus. We have food choices. We have dorm. We have professor treatment and also what I call my favorite, the law of natural personality. And I, I asked me that law myself. I should write a whole book on it. Okay. Now come over here, Rob. So we have S cubed sounds weird, right? Oh, and also thank you, Ryan Barno. Um, special here. Boom. Thank you, Robbie Barno, for doing this video. Okay, for recording. We're all good. We're in lounge uh, three here at Centennial Hall. All right, so S cubed. Sounds weird, right? But think about it. S cubed, S cubed. So we have schedule. Bad handwriting, but just for time's sake. Schedule. We have studying. And, the, and also we have, uh, what's the last one? Social life. Thank you, Rob. Social life. Okay? S, S, S. Okay? These are the three things that students that have trouble with in their first couple of days to weeks adjusting to the college life. So the schedule, high school schedule, seven to three every day, right? We have our clubs, we have dinner with our parents, all this stuff. It all changes in college. I get that you have less time for classes, but how do you adjust to the college schedule is just a chapter of its own. And I consider that the most difficult thing coming to college, studying. That involves homework, assignments, tests. Um, you know, being in class is studying. You're, you know, you're attending class, it's studying. And then your social life. Where's time for that boyfriend, girlfriend? You know, where is time um, to, you know, pretty much have a, you know, fun with your friends, right? So these three S's are huge to, to really know, you know, hey, what is you know the biggest concern coming to college? What are you most worried about? Well, for everyone, it's different. For me, I don't think social life's that difficult. Everyone's looking for friends. I call it the open door policy. Okay, open door policy. When you're in your first couple days in the dorm, keep your door open. Let people come. Let them meet you. Okay, keep that mental open door policy. In the first couple of weeks, everyone's looking for you know friends. Everyone's door mentally is open, but it starts to close weeks later, months later. When you're a sophomore, you can still make friends, but it's not as you know the opportunity is not there as much as it is for a freshman. So keep that open door policy. Hey Nixon, okay, you know history gurus, you know intact. So again, schedule is the hardest to adapt to because it involves studying, it involves social life, all in a nutshell under your schedule. Moving on for time reasons. We have staying involved. I can't emphasize it enough. People all have an education degree. Joe, Lisa, Sally, Sue, we all have the same degree. 
we'll say AY education. But when we go to get a job for an interview, what differentiates Sally, Sue, Joe, Jim at the table? They interview you. It's the difference of staying involved. If you're involved, you know, with this club or this club or, you know, you're part of this team or this, it sells yourself to be more well-rounded in the work field. So make sure that you're staying involved. Ask questions. Follow your passion. I'm going to try to be involved in the Student Radio Network Association, which means I'll hopefully be a uh, voice on like the radio network for, you know, football or baseball or this, that. I'm going to start a pool club a football club to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and watch all the games, okay? I'm part of Hall Council to be an RA later in the years. That's just self-explanatory. I'm not going more in depth than that. Stay involved and please explore your options. Know what's out there. It sells yourself to be more around. I know everyone gets a degree in this or that, but when you go for a job interview, what differentiates you from Lisa? Were you involved? I know you got good grades, but do you get good grades and you did this, that, that? Or do you just study all day and then go to classes? What differentiates you from Lisa? Moving on, food choices. We, you know, normally colleges will have bronze, silver, gold plans. I recommend going gold if you really are a pig or you're a football player and you need that. But don't choose bronze just because it's cheaper. Okay, every school is different with their food choices. So I'm not going to go over what plan to get because everyone has, you know, normally schools have different, you know, food plans. But for food choices in generality, there's literally different like places to eat. So adjust to it. Oh, you know, for us, BJSU, for our school campus, you know, Caroline is by these three halls and the Oaks dining hall is over there on that side of campus. So if we're going to the football game on Friday night, you know, let's go to the Oaks that night because it's closer to this. So make sure you know the locations of foods. Know who your friend group is. Okay, Ray's in that, um, that residence hall. You know, Sherman's over there and Jim's over there. So usually on you know, Mondays, we're out going you know, this hall, right? To eat or whatever. So just know your food options and don't just go to one like every time. Explore your options and make sure that you know what's around you, your awareness. Um, and plus, trust me, I'm not going to go into my BHU campus uh, food life because it's just too like specific. But literally, you'll know by the first you know week or two what the best deals are. You know what's worth it, what's not worth it. Dormitories. Make sure you go for the best dorm on paper. So get that deposit ASAP, whether you had the money or not, because you're going to pay the full money whether you're in the best dorm or the worst dorm. Now, I'm in an economic triple, which means that there's three people in one room. I don't have that much more time to explain everything in depth. If you guys, again, want anything else, please comment below for anything more specifically broken down for you. But again, for dorm life, you literally want to have it where you go for the best dorm. It's honestly priceless. Now, here at BJSU, there's a big step difference. Some of them don't have AC. This one is a look around, Rob. This one is a Centennial. It's honestly glorious. So there's a big difference between these residence halls. You want the best one. You'll be with the best people. For this one in Centennial, honestly, literally people on, like around Centennial, like they honestly seem pretty prestigious. They seem like they know what they're doing because the people at Centennial, Robbie and me were at Centennial. We literally had to sign up the first day to get you know, this dorm. It's first come, first or basis. So make sure that you ask, you know, on your tour guide to the college, you ask what, you know, what's the go-to dorm place and try to get that dorm because people that get the best dorm typically are the better college kids on paper. There is surely an association. What, Rob? Can I say something? Sure, Rob. If you already know that you do not have the money for the top dorm, at least put the deposit in there on time so it's not like, you know, let's say you've got, you know, a few dorms in your price range. Okay, let's say you really like one, but it's in the lower tier and you can afford it. Don't wait till last minute to get 
you're, you know, to not be able to choose because you're paying that deposit, you're paying that same full amount regardless because you're a student here. That doesn't change. So just keep your options open regardless. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Stick it up. Now, Rob, law of, pers law of natural personality is a theory of mine, and I write a whole book about it, right? When we talk about this right here, the social life, right, the aspect of college, we all think that we have a fresh start coming to college. We all think that, oh my gosh, fresh start, you know, I can be this nerd and then become the newest jock. Or, you know, you know, finally, you know, high school is over. No one knows who I am. I can come into college and act like a cool kid and do this or do that. Or, you know, maybe just, just you know, have that summer from 12th grade senior year to freshman year of college. And maybe have that summer to think and adapt and go, hmm, you know, what, you know, what can I do differently from high school to now in college to be the real social class I want to be in? not how it works. Maybe one in a hundred people can do that, but keep in mind one thing, the law of natural personality. It means that naturally you're going to be yourself. Don't go to college and be a whole new person. I was a nerd and a geek in you know high school. I tried to make some friends here and there in college, but Keep in mind, normally the jocks will always tend to still find the jocks and the nerds will find the nerds and the geese will find the geese, the tens will find the tens and, you know, dating life, all that stuff. So the law of natural personality, you know, there's no sense in trying to be a whole different person because, because at the end of the day, naturally, the, the natural course of human events, the geeks still find the geeks and the jocks still find the jocks. That's what I observed, okay? Or over 12 minutes now, we're going to finish with the professor treatment. Guys, I can't really emphasize this enough. Your relationships with faculty and professors are immense. You need, I mean, it's not like you need to, but it just helps tremendously. Know your professors. Ask questions. Use the learning commons. commons. They have free tutoring. Go to the library for help if you need help. Okay, you're paying for an education. Make the most out of it. And more importantly, enjoy college life. I cannot explain enough. You know, again, I can sit for hours and talk, but it's not what we're doing today. Hopefully under a 14 minute video here. Just those six things. Any questions on any of the theories, anything that you think was kind of BS, that you think that maybe, um, that you thought was kind of, you know, I could explain more or whatever. Let me know, but guys, keep in mind, for, for, a, for an under 15 minute video, I think I did my best of going over the highlights of your first week. Um, I, could, you know, I could have explained stories or specific situations and specific things on my campus life is different, but there's no point because it doesn't apply to everyone. Everyone has different dorm lights. Everyone has different, you know, halls or food, food plans or this, that, or books. I could have explained books, but every campus has books differently. So I just did just, in general, dorm life, food, S cubed, okay? The, the, the um, trying to act cool or law of national personality. So that's what I have. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you later.